the role of Commander Shepard, first as an officer in the Systems Alliance and later as the very first human Spectre, has the distinction of being one of the most decisive in human and perhaps galactic history. While the fallout from the Reaper War has left many of the details concerning Commander Shepard's career fragmented and confused, all the way down to their gender or even first name, we do know that their proximity to the initial investigation of the Reaper threat ensured they were in a unique position to make many choices that would ultimately determine the fate of the galaxy. And it's one of those choices I'd like to discuss today, because perhaps out of all the decisions Commander Shepard made or didn't make, there's one that seems uniquely out of place. In 2183, the Citadel, the heart of galactic civilization and home to the Citadel Council, came under attack by Rogue Geth, and what would later be confirmed to be a Reaper known as Sovereign. The Citadel Council attempted to flee aboard a starship known as the Destiny Ascension, while its escorts took heavy losses. But thanks to the involvement of Commander Shepard, the Systems Alliance 5th Fleet found itself in a unique position where it could decisively intervene in the battle. Reports are fragmented and contradictory on whether or not Shepard advised the 5th Fleet to save the Destiny Ascension and the Citadel Council, or instead concentrate all its firepower on Sovereign. While I can't say for sure what happened, it always made more sense to me that Shepard would try to save the Citadel Council. In the years leading up to the Battle of the Citadel, the Systems Alliance had been focusing its diplomatic efforts trying to portray itself as a valued partner and leader to the Citadel Council and the greater galactic community. By saving the Destiny Ascension, the Systems Alliance could prove to the galaxy that it was not simply an ambitious upstart, as its critics had derided it, but rather a responsible power that could look beyond its own self-interest and achieve a greater good. That was a decisive decision, but it's only providing the context for what I consider to be the strangest possible choice in Commander Shepard's career. According to some reports, Shepard instead made the choice to focus on defeating Sovereign as quickly as possible and left the Destiny Ascension to fend for itself where it was ultimately destroyed. If this is indeed what transpired during the Battle of the Citadel, then Commander Shepard was then asked to advise on what sort of council should replace the one that had been left to die. Again, according to fragmented documents, Commander Shepard either advised that a council similar to the previous one, consisting of a Turian, Asari, and Salarian should be appointed, or that an all-human council should instead take their place. And it's that latter option that I consider so strange and out of place. While the Systems Alliance was an emerging power on the galactic stage, it was still a very distant fourth behind the Turian Hierarchy, Asari Republics, and the Salarian Union. It was in no position to dictate the makeup of the Citadel Council, and Commander Shepard had to have known that. By attempting to appoint an all-human council, the Systems Alliance would, in effect, be attempting to exploit a galactic tragedy to initiate a military coup, one it was in no position to sustain. Such a naked power grab would be antithetical to everything the Systems Alliance had been trying to attain, and likely even seen as an act of war. I can't think of any possible decision in Commander Shepard's career that would have led to a worse outcome for humanity and the Systems Alliance. And thankfully, even if Commander Shepard did advocate an all-human council, it doesn't seem like anyone acted on this recommendation. While those records do remain fragmented, there is no account of an all-human council ever being active after the Battle of the Citadel. And that is a very good thing. But that, of course, is just my opinion. If you were put in the shoes of Commander Shepard and asked to save the Destiny Ascension or focus on Sovereign, what choice would you make? And if you chose the latter, would you try to appoint an all-human council in the aftermath? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, this has been a Templin Dispatch. I'm Commander Shepard, and I have no strong opinions regarding the Templin Institute one way or the other. 